Hello all, and welcome to another episode of Zorch Plays XCOM Z <laughs> XCOM UFO Defense. Uh, as you guys may recall from our last episode, our team got a little bit decimated. We have replaced uh, everyone, and so we got a bunch of rookies, and Alex Barson's brother will go with Alexander Barson has joined the team. Uh, he's he's okay. I picked the strongest guy because I want him, him to follow in his brother's footsteps. Um, I've also changed uh, the, the my stat string settings. So now it goes... Uh, there, there's five numbers in total. Right now we only have three because I haven't unlocked Psy skills yet. Uh, but so the first number is his firing ac accuracy, his or her. Uh, zero sucks, or dash is even worse, and it goes up to nine. So three, pretty good. Four, even better. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, is reactions. So Calvin Nash has some reactions. No one else has any reactions at all. Uh, the next one after that is their strength. So N is neutral. Uh, big W is really weak. Little W is weak. Is kind of weak. N is neutral. Little H is reasonably strong. And Big H is very strong, so I'm. That's why Akinori has uh, the whatchamacallit, the the heavy plasma gun, and hopefully uh, Farson will be able to carry one as well. Now, uh, what do the, these guys carry? Oh yeah, if the, if they're H, Farson can totally carry one. Uh, and later there'll be numbers for side defense and side strength, but that's later in the game. Um, I just gotta catch myself up on what's going off. Oh yeah, we're uh, researching plasma rifle clips so that we can use plasma rifles, Illyrium which will be useful later for uh, ships and weapons and all kinds of things, alien alloys which will be useful for making power armor and that'll be awesome. Uh, did I get a new, oh, that is the wrong thing, equip craft? Uh, my tank has not yet come, uh, we hope that comes soon. Okay, it's the end of the month. We've got a new rate. We're still doing pretty well. Um, South Africa is unhappy with my ability to deal with alien activity, and the United has decided to reduce funding to me. Um, so South Africa's down. The U.S. has had already increased their funding, though, so things are going okay. Um, I'm hoping to soon have enough funds to build a new base and I will build it in South Africa and then I sh will have effectively boxed in uh, the aliens in South America. That's the hope at least. Alright, we've got a UFO. Oh! Okay. Well, we'll send the interceptor out. I forgot to check how big it was. Oh, thank you. I am I was hoping that the tank would come before uh, I had to deal with any any Aryans. Move the tank over. Plasma rifles we still can't use. Uh, we might need to make some more clips, but not quite yet. Uh, everything else is in order. Okay. Let's get to fighting. Um... Go for it. Oh! Damn it. Um... I accidentally, uh, made him run away. I meant to be aggressive, and instead I had... had the interceptor run away like a little coward. Okay, aggressive attacks. Did he get away? I think we shot it down. Of course we shot it down, we were over the ocean. Alright, well, seeing that they're out there, I actually want to see... Ooh, that's not what I want. I want graphs. I want to see UF activity in different regions. So we've got a slight up in Siberia, but I think that's the one I just shot down. The aliens don't seem to be doing much. Uh, country-wise, Russia's had a spike. I think the aliens might be focusing on Russia. 
Like there was a huge uh, spike in activity in South Africa, and that's where all of our guys died. Uh, XCOM, of course, did bad in South Africa. Um, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I think the, uh, there might have been a bigger increase in funding from the Americans than there was a decrease. So overall, we're still doing pretty well. Our score is still pretty crappy, though. <laughs> yeah, it kind of spiked and came back down after the whole South Africa ordeal. Oh, what did we finish? Plasma rifle clips. Awesome. Um, let's see, what else can we study here? Do we really care about plasma pistols? Not really. UFO power forces. Well, I think... Actually, I just want to finish the alien alloys. Because I want to get to power armor as soon as possible so my guys actually have... Um, have some skills. Okay, we got Illyrium done too. Awesome. So we might have to be able to do something new. Not yet. So again, we'll put some more guys on the power armor. Very small, very high, heading west. Okay, we'll send the interceptor out. In the meantime, we're going to... Uh, Let's change everything out. Let's see, laser rifles, no more. All plasma rifles, because they're super accurate, and that is awesome. Um, oh yeah, we didn't have clips for those. I think. Oh, we don't need everything. Well, everyone. Well, we only need eight of the rifles, so we need sixteen clips. So we're going to have to make more clips, but we'll do that after this fight. Okay, uh, and then I guess we can sell the laser rifles. We'll sell them to uh, the, the police force in Canada. Oh wait, they don't need them, because they're nice. <laughs> um, yep, okay. Oh wow. Alright, so we're gonna get them just over Alaska here. Wow, destroyed? Jeez, we are... We're just... Oh, okay. I need more avalanche missiles. Uh, purchase. Avalanche missiles. Let's get... 20 of them. Uh, do I need anything else? Let's just get some cannon shells. Get another 10. Uh, on that, I think we're good. Yep. Alien alloys. Alien craft are constructed from special alloys with unique properties. They are extremely light and durable and can be molded by electromagnetic methods. This material can be reproduced and used in many kinds of manufacturing processes. Awesome. Let's... Personal armor, 100%, that's, yes. And everyone, everyone is working on that. Ah, oh, well, maybe not everyone. We'll leave the guys on the cyber discourse corpses, because we can actually make al alien alloys? What, what, what do you need to make alien alloys? Oops. Uh... Just money. Awesome. Well, cool. Oh, we finished the cyber disc too. The cyber disc is well shielded and it is particularly good at withstanding explosive ammunition. So when I threw that grenade at it, it wasn't even going to do much. The primary anti gravity system is too bad of damage to gain any understanding of its functioning. Damn. So what we need to do is capture a cyber disc alive to figure out the, the anti grav. Okay, now that they're all done on that, everyone is working on personal armor. Okay, awesome. Now I wanted to see...
How much alien alloys do we have? 69? That's okay for now, I think. Um, did I have to equip craft? Ammo 2, max 3. Okay, very good. All is well. Okay, let's... Uh, personal armor. Awesome. We are building all of that now. Alright, now we can actually spread some things out, try and figure... So what do we want to go into next? I've heard tales that the blaster bomb is really useful. So that might be nice. But uh, the mine probe will allow us to get psionics, I think? So we'll put, I don't know, 30 guys on that. Um... Plasma cannon, we've got heavy plasma. Oh, the plasma cannon would go on our ships. Right now we don't really need that. Uh, let's get us let's go with a small launcher and put 20 or so people on that. And the power source might be useful for other reasons later. So we'll we'll look pretty hard at that. We definitely want to make these. So, personal armor takes four alien alloys per, so we need 40, which we have. And I want to make enough for every member of my team. I think next time our tank explodes, we aren't going to replace it. Very small. Very, very small. Okay. Um, we'll send the interceptor out. And hopefully they don't just explode them. Holy crap! It's faster than us. Um, what are you doing right now? Wow! <laughs> We're gonna lose that one. It made it out. It made it away from us. What are the aliens doing right now? Oh, they're going into every country right now. Okay, so we've got China. USA and Russia. Okay, they're trying to spread out, get out from under me. Can't have that. I need to make more money. Awesome. Uh, bases, equip craft, Sky Ranger, armor, personal armor, personal armor, personal armor. Everyone gets to live. Everybody gets to live. And I just thought of something. I said I wouldn't replace the tank. But I believe if I do things right, I can um, equip tanks with plasma. Which is something I would love to be able to do. Uh, I might be mixing that up with the newer game. We'll see. So I think the aliens may have changed tactics a little bit, seeing as I've been hitting them a lot. They seem to be throwing out a lot of small ships. Oh, what did we finish? Beautiful power source. The power source of Alien Craft is an antimatter reactor which uses Illyrium-115 to generate powerful gravity waves as well as well as other forms of energy. The conversion of matter to energy is an incredible 99% efficient, therefore tiny quantities of Illyrium can produce a huge amount of power. This unit can be reproduced easily using alien alloys. We can now research power suits. Yes, we are researching power suits. There is no doubt in my mind that we want power suits. And now we can make UFO power sources, but right now there isn't much point in that. Okay, so it's small, heading east, 
movements fast. Uh, we might need to... So they were out running us. Damn it, they got us in the same dead spot. Crash landing, awesome. And day appears to be approaching. Uh, so we'll send this... Oh, but it crash landed in the ocean. Wow, we're, we're doing damage to the aliens, but we're not making any money off of it. Small launcher. A small launcher which fires stun bombs. Very useful for capturing live aliens. Okay. Yes, we're going to want to get a small launcher, and we're going to replace the, uh... Yes. Stun bomb. Oh. Where is the stun bomb? Maybe we can figure it out by going for the grenade. Investing in research was definitely a good idea. Um, we still need aliens, though. What did you fit? The power suit. Front armor, left armor, right armor. Okay. Um. UFO navigation, I guess? Let's, let's only put 30 guys on it, and put the rest on, uh, put five here, and five here. What do you need to make power suits? Alien alloys and Illyrium. Okay, so we're going to have to... We only have a little bit of Illyrium. We could make two power suits right now. Oh, we need to kill some aliens. Um, wait, did that... Power suit. Workspace required, 16 units required, 5, 5... Why can't I make it? Is everyone busy? No? That's weird. Okay, oh, yeah, this is a large one. It's low, it's heading east. Okay, intercept that baddie. Wow! It's fast. Where was it heading? Hmm. Um. Continue heading into Europe, I guess. Maybe you'll spot it. Hmm. No dice. Wow, the aliens are actually outrunning us today. Please be able to get that one. Okay, awesome. Don't blow it up. Oh, they hit us back. Jeez. Alright. Let's test out our new uh, personal armor, boys. Oh, it's nighttime, though. Ooh, this might have been a bad idea. I think it was a small ship, though. Let's get to fighting. Okay, so we have to equip everyone? Oh, he just comes with a motion scanner. That's actually pretty cool. So Calvin Nash, you've got heavy plasma. You don't get heavy plasma, sorry. You don't need that either. Uh, no need for a med kit. No need for two stun rods. I mean, two flashbangs. You do get an electro flare, though, especially since it's night, and I will find a rifle for you. You do, in fact, get everything. Maybe not the med kit. We'll talk about the med kit. Um, does personal armor just come with a motion scanner? If so, that's kind of cool. Um, Uncle Alfonso. I forgot I had to rename this guy for whatever reason. Uh, a grenade, flashbang. I'll take that from you. Um, an electro flare. 
Samuel Hudson. Electro flare. No more. No flashbangs for you. Not flashbangs. Smoke grenades. Um, you get an electro flare, Virgil. Alexander Barson. Hey, look at that. He's even black again. Good. Everything. Everything went better than expected. He definitely he, uh, is his brother's brother. <laughs> uh, you do get a grenade. You have a grenade, right? Yep. Uh, Clarence. There's a grenade for you. Um, you're not strong enough for that. I know you survived the last battle, which is I'm I'm very I'm very happy about that. You can actually yeah you've got some heavy too. You can hold a stun uh, stun rod. Um, you too, neutral. But you do you get a plasma rifle. Um. I will give you a med kit. Uh, I've got got some more smoke grenades to hand out. And that's all the smoke grenades I have to hand out. Does everyone have an electro flare? Clarence doesn't. I have to learn all these new guys again. Now that we've got personal armor, though, people should hopefully die less. Um, which will be good. Okay, we got med kits to hand out. Uh, you guys have stun rods. You, I guess, will get a med kit. You'll get a med kit. Barson, you don't get a med kit. You're too busy carrying the heavy stuff. Virgil can have a med kit. Samuel can have a med kit. Um, Uncle Alfonso gets a stun rod. Akinori. Calvin, you've already got a med kit. Uh, instead of that, have a stun rod. I'm glad we have motion detectors, actually. I think we can't have these two things be equipped, and that's okay. Okay, awesome. Turn one. Get yourself killed, tank. You're not dead. I am surprised. Okay, there's the ship down there. Who's next? Uncle Alfonso. Um, I want you to go up there. Crouch. Everyone should save up for a snapshot. Who's next? Calvin Nash. Uh, you should take up position with Calvin. Everyone looks so good in their in their personal armor. Um, who's next? Otto. Otto, I want you to come up around this way. If you can, get up there. Oh, is there a building right there? Might be a building there. That makes sense. Samuel, I want you to... I want you to throw an electro flare. Why can't you throw? So they've got floaters now. Uh, that is important to know. So good job, Sam. You're currently in the way of everyone who needs to shoot something, though. Okay, Calvin. You don't have enough for an aim shot. How much is a snapshot? 18? You're telling me standing up is something you can't do. Well, at least he's in cover. Virgil McNeil. You get a chance to prove yourself here. If you shoot your comrades in the back, I will murder you. 
Nice shot, oh god. Um... Virgil. Virgil, talk to me, boy. Um... You got full health and no fatal wounds. You're gonna live. You're gonna live, friend. Uh, and your armor's just fine. Okay. You can't get out of the way anymore, though. Alexander Barson. It is... It's proving time. That floater took a direct hit from my plasma. Nice shot. Good job, Alexander. You, I, you're, I'm glad you take after your brother. <laughs> and unfortunately, you can't crouch, but that's okay. Okay, Shigeru. You've been around for a while, Shigeru. I'm glad. I'm glad we've got some old hands left. Uh, okay. That electro flare was really good. I'm glad we we had those. Um. Oh God. Well. <laughs> I guess you're done. Um. Akinori, you too will be going with the uh, the North Squad. Okay, that's that's as far as you get. And Clarence, it will send you north as well. Okay, it's everyone, I think. Yes, sir. Okay, aliens, please don't murder all of us. Please don't murder all of us, please. Okay, so they're in a building somewhere. Uncle Alfonso, Calvin Nash. Um... Otto, Shigeru, Virgil, did you? No, you did not. I want you to, uh... Well, let's send the tank out first. Otto, um... What's going on over there? Like, I know this isn't the edge of the map. Okay, so we can't go around that way. Good to know. Oh, there's a hedge! Okay, um... Knowing that... For an auto shot? Oh, it takes 22. Oh, and he's only got 18. Um... That sucks. <laughs> well, I want to know what's over there, so you can keep moving. Okay, so we have an idea of what's going on now. <laughs> um, I want you, Calvin, to just... Mm. Virgil, I gave you the Electro Flare, right? are looking okay over there as well. I'd actually probably feel okay going the long way around, so I think that's what we'll do. Akinori. chances you can get that far and still crouch. Very good. I like it when people are in cover.
Uncle Alfonso. Okay, Uncle Alfonso, you're uh. There we go. Everyone else from here on out should save up for a snapshot. Alvin, you're also going to crouch. I'm unfortunately making a lot of my guys not useful right now. And most of this team is noobs, so... Except Alexander Barson, he inherited all of his brother's skills. I, I wish. I wish that were the case. Um... Kinori's done, Shikiro's done, Calvin's done, Uncle Alfonso, Tank's done. Otto's done, Clarence is done, Sam is done, Virgil's done. Oh, Isao, I remember you, you're a tool. Now one of the things about floaters is they can fly, which makes them very dangerous. Um, you're also going to just run up to the fence. And that's everyone, right? Ooh, yep, I guess it is. 